Thank you for taking your time to be with me tonight. My name is Tanya Zeliger and I am a new practitioner at Conklin's Healing Within. My background is in counseling, pastoral care and hypnotherapy. I am also trained by Perry in cellular cleansing and I am practicing infotherapist. All the techniques I use in my practice today I experienced first as a client. I know from my own experience that they work. At different points in our lives, we may need different tools to deal with whatever issues we are facing. This is why I use several different modalities in my practice to assist clients on their journey towards harmony and well-being. Today we are going to talk about multidimensional information therapy. It was developed by Valentina Kagansky, who currently resides and works in Israel. She is the head of International Center of Multidimensional Information Therapy. There are several centers in the U.S. and overseas working with this modality. The major website for the U.S. is www.magin-usa.com. The goal of information therapy is harmonization of a person within himself and with the world around him. It includes physical, emotional and spiritual well-being, financial prosperity, relationships and life events. Information therapy provides a variety of tools to help each individual to make the changes they want in a way that is uniquely suited for them. The emphasis of the therapy is looking into and correcting the negative programs of our subconscious mind to allow us to be healthy and successful in all areas of lives. Recently, my child, who is six year old, came from school and said to me that the brain is the boss of our body. He learned that the brain was responsible for all the functions of the body. Later on, we were watching a wonderful kids video talking about our mind being responsible for our thoughts and feelings, and in turn for our actions. Indeed, the information stored in our subconscious mind directs our behavior and determines our responses to all events in our lives. It is also responsible for functioning of our body, all its cells, organs and systems. Most of us heard that information in itself is neutral. It is neither good nor bad. It is simply what it is. Is it good or bad that it is raining outside? Is it good or bad that someone is a vegetarian? Is it good or bad that someone lost a job? It is neither. It is all neutral. However, we live in the world of duality, so we are accustomed to think in terms of opposites. Day versus night, white versus black, life versus death, good versus evil. And this is often how we classify events in our lives. As you know, we perceive the world with our five senses. Nose, mouth, eyes, ears and touch. Information from our five senses goes into our brain where it is compared in our subconscious mind with all the information we have regarding that specific issue. After that, the signal goes into our central nervous system, stating whether we encountered stress or not. In turn, central nervous system sends this information to each cell of our body. If it is stress signal, the cells of our body close down and go into self-preservation mode, function it at the lowest possible level and do not regenerate at that moment. If there is no stress, cells are functioning normally and regenerate, which allows our body to stay healthy. Let's look at a simple example. Two people are walking on the street and hear a barking dog. In itself, barking dog is a neutral event. Now imagine one of these people, let's name him John, was taught in childhood to fear dogs. Maybe a dog bit him or his mother constantly warned him that dogs are dangerous. And another person named Steve who has no fear of dogs. As soon as John heard the barking dog, his mind receives a signal from the surroundings and analyzes the signal based on previous experience and information related to dogs in John's lifetime. 
Then a signal was sent to John's central nervous system, stating there is danger. So his body received a stress signal. His symptomatic nervous system activated and his body went into fight or flight mode. The cells of his body closed down and went into self-preservation state. They are functioning at the lowest possible level and do not regenerate at that moment. Now imagine he turned his head to see where the sound is coming from and saw that the dog is barking behind the fence. The danger is gone. His parasympathetic nervous system activates and helps him to get back into relaxation. While Steve walks calmly through this whole episode, barely notices the barking dog. Look what a difference in experience these two people have in relation to the same event. How we react to everything in our lives is our choice, which is based on the information stored in our mind. Our programs of subconscious mind, with which we perceive the world, dictate to us what is stressful and what is not. And that information governs the functioning of our entire body. Same thing is happening with energy flow in our body. When we are calm and in a state of balance and harmony, energy flows smoothly throughout our body. When we are under stress, the energy flow becomes interrupted and in a certain area of the body forming energy blocks, which in turn can lead to disease process. Again, information that is stored in our subconscious mind is responsible how we perceive events in our lives and allows to act either in a stress mode or neutral state. When you read psychology books, you come across the idea that our mind can be compared to an iceberg. The tip of the iceberg, which is above the water, is our subconscious mind and it is about 10% of our mind. And 90% of iceberg is below the water surface and it is our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind has all the information about us since the moment we were conceived. When we experience any problems in life, the answer for its resolution lies in our subconscious mind. This is a place where the root of the problem can be found. In multidimensional information therapy, we work with a program stored in our subconscious mind to help a person resolve an issue of their concern. Our subconscious mind contains all the information about us, not just the negative programs. In working with clients, the negative programs are the ones that we work on changing. What are some of the examples of negative programs we may have? Not loving oneself, self-destructive tendencies, fear of life, resentment towards self and others, and many more. In our center, we have a specialist who does assessment of the programs of our subconscious mind, which includes around 60 parameters. By the age 7, most of our programs and our life scenario are already in place. Prior to age 7, children are functioning mostly in an alpha state of mind. Their brain is like a sponge, absorbing information from the environment without much logic and filters that we have as adults. The information is written in our minds may not be accurate since we may not be able to understand it and classify it in a logical manner. Let me give you an example from a client session that I recently had. I have permission from this client to share the information with others. The client is 38-year-old male. He felt that his parents did not love him and felt unwanted by them. During the session, we went into a place where he was an eight-month-old child who woke up in a stroller in a dark room. Through the open door, the child saw his mom and dad in a well-lit room being together talking and watching TV. The child felt separated from the parents and not wanted. However, the intention of the parents were able to give child a chance to sleep, so they put him in a separate room so the light and sound of the TV will not disturb his rest. By being eight months old and not having the ability to sing logically, the child internalized the program of not being wanted by the parents. So during the session, we were able to rewrite this program into a positive one. Around age seven, as our mind develops, we are able to analyze information in a more logical way. But the programs that we already stored in our subconscious mind lay foundation for the rest of our life. Many choices and decisions that we make as adults 
are based on the programs we developed as children. Part of the information therapy is to help us change the programs that hinder our lives into positive. If you would like more information about multidimensional information therapy, or make an appointment with me, or learn how to work with yourself to change your own subconscious programs, feel free to contact me at 404-488-6820. Or email at zeva at msn.com. You can also book an appointment with me through Heal and Within website. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.